So Notion have been busy bees. Uh, in the last couple of weeks, they've had some rebranding, not rebranding, some rebrand colors, rebranding of their website. And I want to share my opinions on where I believe this is heading in the future. So I think we start the picture or the entire frame at this. More recently, they shared their new brand colors. Lovely. I think it's fantastic in terms of what colors they have and the offering that they're putting together. But what struck me more interestingly was their focus on this pencil in also in their branding around the word play. So this is obviously definite refocus towards being more playful in an experience. Notion has been known for its playfulness, but I believe that this could be one of the pieces to the puzzle in the future. So whiteboards is where I think a feature could be coming to Notion's ecosystem. Inside of the application, a way to be more creative rather than fixed inside of the account. And I think it would be a perfect experience to add on to an existing Notion account. So that's one thing I believe that's coming. The second thing is that they've really enhanced their push towards AI powered workspace, AI everything app. And to be honest, in this current state of affairs, Notion is no bigger than other AI companies like ClickUp or Monday.com that are offering AI abilities. I don't think their offering is vastly impressive in compared to other AI experiences and other apps. Obviously, they've got the way to answer using Q&A, Write Better, which is just generative AI, and Filling Tables, which again is generative AI. Really helpful stuff, but not necessarily a full AI-powered workspace. So this is where I believe it to be heading. The team have all talked in the past about an ecosystem System, about more apps being part of it thanks to Notion Calendar. Well, I believe they're going to take Skiff and turn it into an email and chat application for internal and external communication utilizing artificial intelligence. And I think that's going to be a, a really interesting pursuit. And I think it'll weave into this AI powered workspace, which includes Notion, Notion Calendar. Notion whiteboards and Notion chat, which allows you to communicate with people. I think the space is dying for a chat application or not an email application, because I feel like that's pretty much done, but I feel it goes hand in hand with Skiff acquisition. But the space is dying for a Slack alternative that really is interweaving in something like Notion's existing proposition. And I think in their Forbes article, they talked a lot about being a workspace and taking on Microsoft and Google. And I feel like that is one of the next steps to doing that. So when is this all coming in, in Francesco's mind? <laughs> this is all speculation, but I have some sort of awareness because Josh Red, who posted on social media a few months back, posted this one at the end of March. Wow, feels like a few months back. And they say that essentially this is going to be a job application for an event producer located in San Francisco looking for a position in marketing to be available 30 hours to 40 hours a week and available between early April and mid. November. So what does that mean? I believe then there's probably a window of time between there that they might need an event producer, e.g. June, July, August, where they do a big release. And they said here, this is to create Notion's largest event in 2024. This will be live streamed and in person and be able to work with regional marketing teams to plan to execute a global strategy and naturally partner with the community to engage the users. So I think this is really interesting. Um, and it goes back to the block by block event, which was 2022. They haven't had a block by block event for the last year. So I feel like if there's going to be a big update, it's going to be in this period of time. So thank you to Josh for doing that investigatory work and really bringing it together. And it's great to see whether this could be Notion's big release for this. So that's why I believe it's heading. feel like the ecosystem is going to improve. AIs could become part of that ecosystem. And um, I feel like they are going into a new era with this branding as well. I mean, if you look at the branding, it's very interactive, but there's always constant references to pencils. And I feel like you can't ignore that. <laughs> well, I can't ignore that. I feel like that is where it's happening. Is this what Notion is cooking? I'd love to hear your comments in the comments below here on YouTube. So thank you very much. And uh, I look forward to hearing some of your opinions and I'm sure we'll, we'll get to that very soon. Thank you very much. And I'll see you all very, very soon. Cheerio. 
Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, you can check out another video here on YouTube diving into productivity tools. But if you did want to, you can jump over to Toolfinder to discover any productivity tools, which will be linked here as well. We have a resource of over 250 productivity tools and growing, and naturally there are reviews, insights, and much more. So do check it out below, but thank you very much for watching this video.